While surveying the site of some ancient ruins, two young archaeologists, Derek and Margot, and their nomad friend, Loki, find themselves trapped and sinking in a whirling pool of sand. And when the dust settles, they stare up in awe at a vast chamber filled with giant relics and artifacts from another civilization. And there, at the far end of the cavern, a door with a strange inscription. All who enter these portals pass through time. in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus. Caesar Augustus, your illustrious emperor in Rome, decrees that all the world will be taxed. Yeah. Romans want everything. Money, everything. Money. everything. What does mean? Never oh, Quiet! Everyone, including you fine people of Nazareth, is ordered to return to the city of his birth, there to register to become official citizens of the Roman Empire. And that means now, no exception. Those of you who don't belong here, pack up and go. Joseph, does that decree mean what I think it does? I am of the family of David in Bethlehem, so I'm afraid that means... That means you and I and the baby have a long trip ahead of us. Back to my home in Bethlehem. Oh, Mary, it couldn't be a worse time for you to travel. You know we have no cause to worry. God will be with us. Didn't the angel of the Lord come to us both? Yes. While I slept, the angel came. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. For what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bring forth a son and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. This took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. A virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. And the angel Gabriel came to me. Fear not, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Highest, and his kingdom shall rule forever. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among all women. I have no fear, Joseph. I fear only for you. I know, but just believe. I do. To Bethlehem? To Bethlehem. I think we're in the Holy Land. To me, it's just one hill after another. After another. After another, after another, after another, after another. Oh, look! 
Water, trees, an oasis. Where? I don't see anything. There, then look. Do you see it? No. I don't see a thing. Me neither. Just sand and rocks. Have it your way. I'm going for a swim. There's nothing out there. He's seeing a mirage. That's what happens when you're thirsty and you're out in the sun too long. You see things. Moki, come back. Come on in. The water is fine. <laughs> hey, where did the water go? <gasps> Over there. Come on. Marco, not you too. Hey, it's a real oasis. Moki, come on! Oh, excuse me, uh, but you wouldn't happen to have a, a cup, would you? You don't know how to use a goat skin? Here, let Yasha show you. Now you, Miss Margot. Sorry, soft drink cans we can handle, but goat skins, uh-uh. Soft drink cans? Uh, never mind. You were traveling to Jerusalem? Jerusalem? Oh, I knew we were in the Holy Land. I I've always wanted to see Jerusalem. Is, is that where you're going? Jerusalem? Yes, everyone's traveling to register at his home city. And for me, that's Jerusalem. How about you? Well, um... Yes, yes, that, that's just where we're headed. Right, Derek? Oh, yeah, uh, that's right, Jerusalem. Fine, you can all ride with me. This time I'll get it for sure. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Campbell, but you smell like you could use a bath. Climb on, Moki. That's the one we're riding. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, only kidding, Mr. Campbell. <laughs> Others are headed toward Jerusalem. Three wise men follow the light of a brilliant star shining in the eastern sky. Three kings in search of another, a newborn king. We three kings of Orient continues to move. We will follow wherever it leads. Yes, but we won't have to follow much longer. I believe that's Jerusalem up ahead. Jerusalem, Judea's holy city. The perfect place for the birth of a new king. That, that's exactly what I was thinking. We mustn't waste a moment. The baby will wait to be born in Bethlehem. Well, that settles it. Men know so much about giving birth. It was only a hope and a prayer. I know. We'll rest here tonight and be in Bethlehem before sunset tomorrow. Tomorrow. You wanted to see Jerusalem? Here we are. What'll we see first? Everything. Ow! 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 Well, how do you people ride these things? Very well. Thanks a lot. Oh, look at that. Those colors. Mmm. Smell the food. Look at that. You 
like Jerusalem, I can tell. Oh, yes. Look at those oh. jewels. Oh, oh, look at them. Oh, 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 come on, Moki. Let's see what's causing the crowd. We ask you again, is there a new king here? New king? Where? New king? I wish we had a new king, but we're stuck with Herod. What? Who said that? Who spoke against King Herod? There is no king newly born here in Jerusalem. I am Eli, high priest to King Herod. And I can assure you, good gentlemen, there is only one king here, and that is Herod. But the prophecies and, and, and the star. We were sure the new king, the Messiah, would be born here in Jerusalem. Go to the king. Tell him I have news. The prophecies, you say? Well, of course, we all know of them, and they may very well come true someday. But not here, and not today. We'll be here till the morning. If there is any news, I'll tell King Herod. I'm sure you will. What was that all about? I'm going to find Margaret. I'm not sure, but I'm beginning to get the most incredible feeling. So am I, and it's called hunger. Oh, look at those melons! You there, you want to help me load them onto the cart? You can have your pick. Oh, may I have the melon first? No. Are they ripe? Ay! You just made your pick. <laughs> now get busy. Wealthy they are, sire. Three important. No question about it. <laughs> and they brought up this business about a new king. <laughs> Good catch. Thank you, sire. Not you, the monkey. New king, I am Herod the Great, named by Caesar Augustus himself Emperor of Rome. What makes them think there's a new king? The uh, 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 prophecies, sire. You mean people still believe that ancient gibberish? <laughs> Apparently, sire. I personally, myself, take no stock whatsoever in... What does the prophecy say about this new king, this messiah? Where is he going to come from? <laughs> of all places, Bethlehem. Bethlehem? <laughs> Go find these wealthy travelers of yours, Eli, and tell them King Herod wants to see them. Take Quintus with you. Sire? I'll get rid of them myself by sending them to Bethlehem. Go! Brilliant, Your Majesty. Yes, yes, I know. If it's not the Romans, it's my own priests. <laughs> New king. I, Herod alone, am king of the Jews. If there is a newborn king, he won't be alive for long. The donkey needs it more than I.
Oh, the last melon. Well, this will do it. Uh, 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 wait a minute. I don't know if... Ah! Oh, I was right. Gee, that did it. Ah, you, you... Hey! We know it, it wasn't, wasn't my fault. fault. It never is. Well, it wasn't. He should have had a stronger car or smaller melons. Whoops! We better have faster feet. This uh, star you say you've been following, where might I see it tonight? We don't know. The sky has been overcast the past few nights. But it had to be leading us to this holy city. The prophecy of a newborn king is quite clear. Oh, yes, of course, I know, but it didn't name Jerusalem, as I recall it. The new king was to be born in, um, in Bethlehem. <laughs> yes, that's the place. I know the town. What a joyous event. You must go there without delay to see the prophecy fulfilled. To worship the Christ child, the newborn king of Israel. We shall leave at once. Yes. But one favor, my friends. When you find the child, send word to me immediately so that I too may go and worship him. Rest assured, King Herod, we will never forget your kindly spirit. Eli. Have Quintus and his Roman guard follow them secretly. And report their findings directly to you. It is done. And that's the end of that. I think we lost him. But we got a Roman guard instead. Back inside. Are you sure you understand? Follow those three travelers to Bethlehem. Yes, yes. And if they fall on their knees before some squalling baby, report right back to King Herod. I'm a Roman. You only have to tell me once. Margo, I'm getting that unbelievable feeling again. Bethlehem? A newborn babe? Three travelers? Maybe those rich fellas we saw this afternoon. The ones dressed like kings? Three kings! Oh, Derek! It, it can't be! We've got to find out. We've got to be there! But how do we get to Bethlehem? Yasha! Yasha. Oh, no! Not the camel again! How small it is. But as the prophet Micah said, out of you, Bethlehem, small as you are, shall come forth a ruler over all of Israel. We better hurry. Right. Let's go, little fella. You've done fine so far, but we're not home yet. Look. Mm -hmm. 
Hold. Look, they're stopping to make camp for the night. Ah, good. When it gets dark, we can move closer. Yes. And perhaps over here is something that could be worth extra money in our pockets from King Harry. Yes, I like your thinking. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no! Believe me, there are no rooms. Do I look like a rich man who could pass up good coin? Do I? I want your money. I'd love to take your money. But I have no rooms. There are no rooms in all of Bethlehem. But where can we stay? We've traveled days to get here. It's this taxation business. Blame the blasted Romans. Well, I... Oh, <laughs> pardon me, my good Roman sir. Mm. Be about your business. You too. Phew. Oh, no. Please, don't ask me for rooms. There aren't any, none at all, for miles. It doesn't have to be a room, just a place for my wife to lie. I'm sorry. I know. We'll find something. Somewhere. Come, Joseph. Oh, wait! Uh, uh, there's this... You won't like it, but we do have... Uh, well, it's, it's all we've got. But, but anyway, we'll take it. It's a stable. Uh, not even a stable, really. It's uh, uh, more of a cave for the animals. But it does have a roof and fresh, soft hay and... We'll take it. You'll take it. You'll take it. Yeah. He'll love it. I told you he'd be happy. Here, I found some blankets and some swaddling cloths. Just in case tonight becomes the special night. You're most kind. Anything to help. Your kindness will be long remembered. Well, uh, good night. Yes, night will be a good and special night. I bring to the Christ child. Frankincense, a precious scent from my land for the newborn king. I'm giving the child the rarest incense I know of, myrrh. But this new king, he's the gift to all of us. Have you considered the dream I had and its warning about King Herod? Yes, and we're in complete agreement. We shall not return through Jerusalem. And we tell King Herod nothing about the child. Herod is a man I feel we cannot trust. Great glorious night! The star! The star is back! We follow! We follow! Are you all right? What's happening? 
Fear not, for I bring you good tidings of great joy. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. headed back to Jerusalem. We've got to stop them. Stop them? How? Why? Herod won't let the child live. You mean he'll try to? Yes. Herod's afraid of him. The child is the new king of Israel, the Messiah. We've got to do something. Come on. No, Derek, stop. Let them tell Herod. It won't matter. What? Don't you remember? The Bible says an angel will come to Joseph and warn him. And he and Mary and the child will get away safely to Egypt. Ah, that's right. Yes, of course. Mary, Joseph, the star, we're in Bethlehem. Ah, the Messiah. Then that means tonight, now. This is Christmas, monkey. The first Christmas. on earth, peace and goodwill toward men. 